In this lecture, we will continue with contacts in HyperMesh. In the previous lecture, we have learned how to create auto contact between two bodies. And in this lecture, we are going to learn how to create contacts manually. Sometimes when we have complex bodies and when we use the auto contact option, it is not going to create the contact surface properly. In that case, we need to create contacts manually. So here you can see we have created the contacts in the previous lecture. So we are going to continue with the file. So I am going to delete all these two contacts created. So select the contact and also the group. Right click and delete them. Ok now we need to create contacts manually. So whenever we want to create the contact, so we need to go to this analysis tab. Here first we need to create contact surface and after that we need to create an interface between the two contacts. So here click on contact surface. Ok so here you will see options like element 2D face. It means whenever we have a shell body we are going to use the first option. But right now we can see we have a solid body. So click on solid faces. Give it any name. Ok first. I will hide this plate too. Hide the plate too. But here before hiding we have to make sure that I want to create contact up to this point. Ok so give it some mark. So let's say I will add a node here shift plus F2 and add a node here. So this node will help us to select the proper location. Add return. Now hide this plate too. It means we want to create the contact up to this line. So here give it name like this is contact surface 4. Give it name, any name like this is contact 4 plate 1. Plate 1. In the card image we need to select surface. We have element list or surface. So whenever we have a list of element we need to select element list. But here we need to create a contact surface. Here we have option, click on this arrow you will see element, 3D face or free edge. So we can select elements one by one manually like this click on the element one by one. But it is very slow option so click on reset we can click faces. So here with this faces we have a option that is called face angle means whenever we have a curvature and when I select a higher value it will select the complete face. You can see when we have a smaller value, let's say this is 2, click on reset and I will select. Ok, because this is a planar surface, it can select the complete face. But whenever we have a curved body or, or any complex body, then we have to change this face angle according to that geometry. If we select a higher value, it is going to select the complete body, like this is selecting the complete face. Here you can see we have selected the element. After that, because we want to select the element up to this line, we don't want the element up to this complete face. It means we need to remove some element. To remove the element, once again go to element. We need to deselect them. One, one way is we can make a right click on the element one by one. Another way is we can create a rectangle. Shift plus. Right click of the mouse, hold down and then drag the rectangle. And select the point up to where we want to create the contact. And here all the settings are default, click on create. Here you can see we have selected some extra element so we can remove them. To remove the extra element we can go to remove element. Here we need to select the contact surface from which we want to remove, click on this. Here we have to select C plate 1 and I want to select the element. Ok so click on element here. So this element I don't want for this element. Whatever element we select the contact will be removed from that element. Let's say I don't want from this layer. Click on remove. You can say the elements has been removed. Click on return. Similar thing we need to do for the contact surface 2 that is plate 2. Here you can see a C split has been created. Now hide this plate 1 
and turn on this plate too. So we can also hide these contacts as well. First add a node there, shift plus F2 for the reference, add a node here, hide this. Okay, now once again go to contact solid faces, give it name like this is C plate 2. Okay, here let's say I will start with selecting the faces. Click on this face. Once again select element, right click and then select the element like this. Click on create. Click on return. If we want to remove any element, we can remove it. Also, we can adjust the normal hair. Whenever we want to create the contact between two surfaces, the normal should be intersecting with respect to each other. Okay. So I will change the color here. Let's say this is some different yellow color. Let's say this is pink so that we can see it properly. I, I will hide the plate. You can see we have created the contact. After we create the contact, we need to define an interface between the contact. We can also see that in the C plate 1 it has 291 element, in the C plate 2 it has 291 element. Okay, so now to define the interface, go to interface here. You will see some option here like create, update, add, card image. So initially we need to create. So click on create, give it any name. Like this is a tie contact. So give we can give any name to this, like this is tie contact. Okay, after that we need to select the type. So in type you can see we have contact option and tie option to create the contact. Later on we are going to cover what is the difference between them. Initially let's say I'm taking tie between them. Click on create. So you can see a tie element. So you can see a tie group has been created. And But until now we had not defined these contact surface C plate 1 and 2 inside this group. To define them we need to go to this add option. Here we need to select the contact we have created. Click on this. We need to select tie contact. Again we need to define a master and then and a slave. So how to select master and slave means which one is master which one is slave. We are going to cover it later. Let's say initially I'm going to take plate 1 as master. So here type it is C surface. Now click on contact surface. Make a check on this C plate 1. Click here and select. Similarly in the slave once again click on this contact. Click on this C plate 2. Select and here click on update. Click on return. So now if you go to this tie contact click on this in the property you will see card images tie and ok SSID you can see unspecified it means the slave surface has not been defined to define it we need to update it once again ok so go to interface click on this name select tie contact we have already defined the master so click on this contact surface click on this select and update okay we need to click on update for this here and click on return now let's see this time you can see this has been updated then we can insert the value like search distance or just etc if we want to review them we can also review them from here go to interface click on review so before reviewing we need to select it we can select it by clicking on this name option review Okay, and then you can see the elements here. Okay, so click on return. We can also review it from here. Right click, review. So in this way we can see we have created the contact. If Let's say if I want to change the card image here. One way is we can directly go to this property. It's like this tie contact, we can change the card image. Let's say I want to create a contact between them. Click on yes. Then here. We can define the property type like we can define property type here slide, freeze, tick etc. Once again we need to define the master and slave. So let's say click on master, click on once again, click on C plate 1, ok. 
Similarly, click on slave and see plate 2. This is another way of defining the context which is much faster than going to this command from here. So in this way we define the contact manually.